Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing well and have had a wonderful week. So today's video is going to be an H&M haul and if you watched my previous video you'll know that I don't normally do hauls um, all that often but with the move I just found that I didn't have enough spring summer appropriate clothing um, unfortunately I couldn't pack as much as I wanted to so I desperately needed a couple of things. Um, I did want to tell you guys that this haul is unfortunately a very basic haul so it's not that many exciting items but it's things that I really needed and then I also had a wonderful problem where uh, my delivery was left in the foyer of my building and somebody pinched my delivery so the things that I had initially bought I do not have because when I went back to buy them they were all out of stock or I couldn't find them on the website so it's been a little bit of a mission and that is why this haul has ended up being so basic simply because I just felt that the things that I really wanted were no longer available but I did need a couple of things so Without further ado and me rambling, let me show you all the pieces that I've bought. So the first item from this haul that I want to show you guys is an accessory and probably one of the more exciting purchases that I made. And it is these shoes. So they are a slingback and they are pointy as you can see. And I purchased them basically because I really felt like I needed something that looked more summer appropriate. And that I could wear day to day instead of sneakers because I found that I just wear sneakers every day and that's not really my style on the norm so I felt like I needed to just add something prettier to my wardrobe um, and I went with these so as for sizing I got these in a size 37 or a UK size 4 which is my normal size and they fit perfectly I also do have one foot that's slightly bigger than the other and it's no problem then I just wanted to talk to you guys about comfort level these shoes I would give them a 7 out of 10 so mostly comfortable uh, but there were a couple of things I did want to bring to your guys attention so first off being a typical slingback this does slide a little bit on the ankle uh, not that badly because it is quite structured but it, it is noticeable and then in the front this is really low so you're not getting a lot of grip on this part of your foot and then I noticed that the bridge of my foot started to ache just a little bit after wearing them so I would say that this is definitely a shoe that you should wear if you're going to be going to brunch or to dinner or maybe if you work in an office and you're walking around a lot and you can get away with flat shoes and um, that would be more appropriate than wearing them if you're going to be walking around a lot because you're probably going to be quite uncomfortable in that situation then the other thing that I did want to mention is that the sole is almost completely smooth I don't know who designed that but honestly you guys I've even considered taking a nail file and just buffing it because let the surface be marginally slippery and you're going to fall. So just be aware of that. I do think that it is a worthwhile shoe. I do really like them, but there are some drawbacks, unfortunately, to the shoe. One last thing that I have to mention. They really smelled so bad when I got them, but don't worry. Just air them out. They will no longer stink like glue and fake leather. But anyway, good shoe, good shoe. Next up is a very basic top that I've been wanting for quite a while. I've actually wanted it since I was in South Africa. So probably been looking at it for about two years now and I just never took the plunge and bought it. Not that it was an expensive item. I just never bought it. I don't know. But this time around, I thought that I would take the plunge and buy it. And it is this very simple spaghetti strap. That looks like this you'll see in the cutaways it looks much better but basically it's just a silky material with a deep V in the front and a V at the back and I really like those kinds of tops under blazers I like to wear them in the summer um, I just feel like they're really simple but they're so classy and I love the material it is so soft um, and I just feel like it hangs really beautifully on the body so this item I bought in a size small and to be honest with you guys I actually could have sized down on this I probably could have got an extra small and I am actually contemplating maybe exchanging this for an extra small. It does fit, but I just feel that because I don't have very big boobs, like I don't fill the top up enough and it just sits awkward over here. Um, so I haven't tried styling this with jeans or anything to see if I can get away with it. But if it doesn't work, then I'll just exchange it for a smaller size. This top is also 55% 
recycled polyester and 51% recycled polyester. One's the shell, one's the lining, just to make that clear. Um, and yeah, that's just a basic item that I thought would add value to my wardrobe. The next item I want to show you guys is something that is very much unlike me and actually not something I've purchased before, but I did feel like I need it um, and I'll explain to you guys in a moment why. And it is this sports top. So the reason why I decided to pick this up is because there is a really beautiful trail right around the corner from my house that I love going on walks in and I just felt like I needed something appropriate to wear for that, especially when I'm exercising um, and I just felt like this would be useful because of course it is sleeveless but it's also not a sports bra so I'm not like bearing all you know um, and I just felt like that was a good option especially now that it is getting warmer and then this top is supposed to be seamless but it's not I, this is a seam so I don't know why they call it seamless when clearly it's got seams but anyway that's not that's not my business. And then um, it has this really nice ribbed material as well as a like band across the bottom, which I will show you, of course, in the cutaway. This top does fit really well. The only problem is it doesn't hug my rib cage as well as I would like it to. So it has a little bit of gaping at the back, um, which I suppose I could have gone smaller, but I really wasn't sure how the sizing was going to work um, and what was going to fit me or not. So it is it's not too big it just doesn't fit tight enough if that makes sense um but it's a nice top it's a nice material and i think it will serve its purpose so i'm not complaining too much the next item i want to show you is a pair of leggings so these leggings i bought for um exercising as well they seem to match the sports top that I showed you guys because they have very similar ribbing and I quite like that even if they're not really a set they kind of look like a set so that's cool um, I have tried these on and they are not see-through which I'm very thankful for uh, because that is not a situation I would particularly enjoy and then as for the fit of these I bought them in a size small and they do fit me um, the waistband is not quite as tight as I'd like it to be and then on the other end, I don't know if it's just these particular pair of leggings or if it's just me, I don't know. But I find that it's quite tight around my calves and I don't have like really defined calves or like big legs or anything. So if you're somebody who gyms a lot, I don't know how you fit into this. I'm just saying in terms of like the legs, like if you have like really nice muscular legs, I don't know. I don't know guys but that's just my take on it so these i think went for 24 euros so a little bit more expensive but not too bad um they are comfortable they don't seem to slide down as you're moving which i think is a plus and yeah i just i like them and i think they'll do their job really well the next item i want to show you is a pair of trousers that look like ooh, this so they are probably not that unfamiliar to you everybody and their mother seems to be buying them this season and i thought i would pick them up as well because i just really liked the look of them so they have a clasp detail as well as a button in the front and a zip and then they have an elasticated waistband at the back so very comfortable um if they fitted me because they don't um but besides that they have a really nice material they are unlined and you're not going to be hot in them in summer at all they also have pockets which is great so i am a 5'4 and these sit just at my ankle so i can wear them with closed shoes i can also wear them with open shoes and they'll look perfectly fine um if you're obviously taller than me it is going to become shorter i don't think that it's going to be too much of a problem um but if you are shorter than me maybe they'll be a bit too long I think that they're worth it they're not that expensive if I'm not mistaken I paid 20 euros for these um maybe you can get them hemmed or something like that and just make them more comfortable for you I really like them and I will be getting them in a bigger size I'm actually thinking of giving these to my sister and see if she likes them um so that I don't have to go through the return process but if she doesn't I'll just return them and get a bigger size as I say very nice pants so I really needed to buy myself a pair of pyjamas. I basically packed no summer pyjamas and it is now 
getting a bit too hot to wear my more warm pyjamas and that is why I decided to pick these up. So it is a really pretty t-shirt material. Um, it is beige with printed white hearts on them. And then it also comes with the matching shorts, which I really like. And it comes as a set, so you don't have to buy them separately and pay two separate prices for them. They were also really affordable. Uh, I will put the price up. I don't remember how much I paid for them. I do apologize. I bought them in a size small. So these are the only items I can't tell you how they fit because I have not tried them on yet. The other stuff came together and these came separate and I haven't had them that long so I haven't really had a chance to try them on yet but um, yeah they look really nice they look really comfortable I like the feeling of the material basic simple exactly what I needed the second last item I purchased is again an accessory and it is this handbag so my other handbag I've had for about two years I also bought from H&M but I've worn that thing to death and it's starting to look pretty tatty so I felt I needed to get a, another handbag and I've been looking and I haven't been feeling overly inspired, but this bag is simple enough, but exciting enough to want my attention. So I picked it up. It's really nice. It's got this braided like little strap. And then it also has the crossbody strap that has like a little buckle and you can adjust the size. It is tucked in at the moment and I've already put all my things inside, so I'm not going to upset my apple cart and pull that out now and I just really like it it's a soft bag um I like the shape it fits my phone it fits all my nonsense in it uh, and I really like it so I definitely think that this bag is worth purchasing and once again I think I paid 19 euros for it I will obviously put the correct prices on the screen for you guys so you know exactly how much I paid for this stuff the last item I have to show you guys is my absolute favorite item of this haul. This item is definitely not a necessity for me personally. Um, it wasn't that basic either, but I really wanted it. I don't have anything in this color and I felt like, you know what, I'm going to spoil myself and I'm just going to purchase it just because I really like it. And it is this blazer. Now, if you know me, you know that I adore blazers I wear them practically every day it's ridiculous um, and then yeah I just what can I say uh, it is double breasted it has a fake pocket over here as well as real pockets on the side and it fits beautifully so if I were you I would stay true to size I nearly went up a size, but I saw that the model on the website was wearing a medium and she was five foot nine, I think it was. And I thought, geez, I mean, she's much taller than me and it looks quite oversized on her. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to size to my normal size and just hope for the best. But I really think that this blazer has that perfect mix of oversizedness as well as fitted. Like it doesn't look like it's so baggy that you've borrowed it for some, from somebody else and you just look tatty in it, I guess. Um, yeah, I really like it. It's beautiful. Pick it up. You won't regret it. And it does retail, I think for 30 euros. So not bad. Um, not the most expensive blazer on the market, but the quality is really good. I think it, it's definitely worth the money. So that is the end of this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you happen to pick up any of the items that I have shown you, please do tag me on Instagram. My handle is at Shannon underscore Jean. I'll have it up on the screen here so you can see it. And yeah, I hope you have a beautiful week. I hope that everything goes well for you guys and that the desires of your heart are all met. I will see you next week, same time, same place. I love you all so much.